Hey everybody, this is Birch. You know the old uh, tree falls in a forest, Does no one's around to hear it, does it actually make a sound? I, the, the answer is yes, it makes a sound. There's still the laws of, you know, <laughs> physics and gravity and sound. and <laughs> Like, this, it, things still happen, you know. Uh, but all the same, uh, the, the adage is, like, if nobody sees it and nobody witnesses it, you know, does it really matter? And, and in some cases, uh, you know, it's been applied to recent outrages. If, if nobody's aware that the outrage is occurring, do, does anybody really need to get upset about the outrage? I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, it's too early in the morning and I haven't had enough coffee yet. But uh, here's, an, here's a mail about comics. And this one is, uh, if no one is really talking about, does an event really matter? And we're talking about the current uh, AVXVE or Axe. Uh, it, Marvel couldn't do a promotional tie-in with uh, Axe body spray. I mean, it, 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 it's right it's right there in front of you. If the end of this event does not have the Celestials just spraying, like, I have judged you all unworthy of smelling good, here's some Axe body spray, and just start spraying it all over the planet. That, that's that's clearly the end of this, uh, this event. But anyway, let's get to the mail. It says... Um, in the past, I've kept track of Marvel's events, even if I can't afford the comics anymore. I still try and uh, keep up with the storylines. used to be I hung out on message boards, CBR, Captain Comics, and others. One thing I've noticed with the latest uh, battle event is no one is really talking about it. There's one thread in the x book section of CBR, nothing at Captain Comics, and even a Google search turned up very little. I don't think there is really much and much really new in this event. We've got a lot of NPC non-player characters dying, godlike beings being used, a flimsy excuse to get everyone fighting. Basically the same formula they've used since Civil War. But back then there were multiple threads on CBR and Captain Comics, Newsarama and others, but now just one thread? So if nobody cares enough to even post a negative angry thread about it, there have been tons of those for events in the past. Is that a sign that the events aren't even getting people angry anymore? Or have the people who would have gotten angry given up on comic book message boards or comic books or both? Um, I think a lot of things are happening here. I think this uh, this is the culmination of multiple different storylines. No, I, I, I think that, first off, several of those sites that you mentioned have been, uh, you know, aggressively banning people that complain about things. And so as they have pushed them out... Um, there was, you know, at least a little bit of outrage at first. You know, people would uh, get angry, go on other message boards, be upset. But increasingly, it, it, they, they just kind of moved on. Just, they, they don't care anymore. Um, I used to see a lot about uh, message board banning on Reddit, on CBR, on places like that. And now I see almost none. Like, nobody, nobody just, they've moved on with life. But... At the same time, if you look at CBR, you look at some of these sites, overall traffic is down. And and here's the crazy part. As annoying and frustrating as it might be, several of those people who are very negative and arguing on those boards were also driving a lot of traffic to them. And, you know, I, I think, uh, what was it over in um, gaming? I can't remember. It wasn't IGN. One of the boards there recently they did a, like a campaign, like a, it's your second chance and they, they basically unblocked everyone. They, they unbanned everyone from the board. And you're like, come on in and, and be normal. And, you know, and, and they did it in the sense of, hey, we want to encourage community. And, you know, we want to get maybe people took things too far. So we want them to have a chance to come back and, and try again. Uh, but in reality, what it was for was advertising the revenue that they get to run these things in the first place had dropped because, if you take out all the people who disagree with you, eventually you get very benign, you know, nonsense talk. And you know, I like Wolverine. Me too. You're talking about the Laura version, right? Of course I am. We glad we agree. Like, okay. <laughs> I mean, that, but you, 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 you just, there's nothing exciting about that. You need to have that argument. And so I think there's some of that going on for the comics themselves. I, this event um, it, it's not good. I mean, it's, uh, it's two issues in and we've seen just a couple tie-ins and unfortunately, yeah, it feels like, it feels like a greatest hits of several of Marvel's events kind of tied up in one, even though uh, they were all applauding over uh, Gillen and Al Ewing's, um, X-Men red 
bit where uh, Yernos, the uh, what grandfather of Thanos, is sent by the Eternals to uh, by Druig to Mars, Raku, and he basically murders most of the people there. Just just kills mo- almost all of them. And you're reading this, and it's hard not to be. It's hard not to. Ca- it's hard to care. It's <laughs> it's hard not to. Care. It's, it's hard to care. Because no, almost none of these characters have any kind of character development. They it doesn't m- matter, and they're just there's corpses and and you know like several of them, you know many of the Araku mutants can't be resurrected. They don't have their their resurrection protocols on file or whatever, and so you're looking at them and you're supposed to go, oh my god, it's it's, it's you're gonna whack this whole group down. You mean the whole group that was introduced what two years ago? And really hasn't had much character development or storyline. They just like are hanging out and they look kind of weird, like, oh, all these mutants for some reason look more alien than the human mutants. They're they're hanging out doing something. I, I don't know, whatever. Any of them that are that, that you know, if later on we realize that uh, we we killed somebody who was actually popular, then we'll say, ah, they they weren't dead. They were hiding under a corpse the whole time. That's that's the problem. So these are the stakes in this event. Um, you've got giant celestial monsters coming in, just ripping off parts of the planet. But hey, the, you know, Krakoa can just heal itself. They they show in the, the comic itself, like they're going after resurrection protocols. They're trying to prevent us from bringing people back to life. Um, but, you know, they haven't, they haven't managed to do that yet. So quickly, bring more of them back to life. They're just, they're just, I mean, it's, I, in fact, there's some where they show a character getting killed. Uh, in one panel, and and like the next page, they're like the uh, people were fighting on the battlefield, or you know, bumped up in the protocols, and so they they immediately come back, like like the next page, these characters are resurrected, come flying back in again. Oh, and uh, Tony Stark is uh, his hubris has got him to uh, you know help resurrect a celestial. Then it then it turns out to be a dick. Oh, who could have seen that coming from one of Tony Stark's plans? I mean, the challenge with this event is if you read it, it uh, you know it, it just feels like a bunch of stuff you've already seen before because you have. And the other problem is if you don't read it, you kind of have a feeling like you know what's going to happen because the beats even smell similar enough that you don't even have to read the comic to go, I, I think I know what's going to happen here. And that's the problem. And you, you've got a pretty good artist on the book. You've got, you know, in theory, a bunch of characters people should care about. I mean, the, the Eternals have not worked. And it really does feel like this is Marvel's Inhumans 2.0 attempt to go, damn it, we're going to get these guys over. And they're trying. But it's, you know, it's just, it's like, oh, here's a, it's, there's another group of people that can't die that just can get resurrected over and over again. Oh, it's, it's, uh, that's super. So it's, uh, that's great. Oh, there's a twist. When uh, one of them comes back to life, it kills a random human. I mean, okay. Sounds, sounds fun. And in this event, the Avengers are just kind of hanging out going, well, I, we, we should probably do something. But the Avengers themselves, feel so alien as a concept at this point, you know, they're, they're basically they're living in, uh, in the snowy mountains inside the corpse of one of these celestials. They've got echo in there. Who's a Phoenix and Namor who started out the event fighting them, but now is on the team. And, uh, and Jane Foster is there as Valkyrie. I mean, you've got to, the, the characters are all like, this is the harm you get. When you go for just anything wacky all at once. Like, hey, we've got a blade around there somewhere. And he's got like a man thing baby that he carries around. Like, what? What? what, What's going on? Captain America looks increasingly like bored in his own book. You know, Captain Marvel, the character everybody gets pissed off about, is just like, she's got nothing to do. She flies in every once in a while like, hey, uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm still here. And I'm doing stuff. Um, I guess, you know, unfortunately they introduced Echo over here with Phoenix power. So she's got, she can do everything I can do, but, but more of it. Oh, and we've got a, uh, girl star brand who's aging rapidly. Who's now like a teenage girl. 
And uh, she can also do everything. Like Captain Marvel's just hosed in this whole, whole mess with the Avengers. Like there's like I, I can fly and punch stuff. It's like, oh, that's nice. Uh, we can, we can all do that too, but better. So uh, how's it feel anyway? So that's, that's a problem. So does this, you know, does this event matter? Well, I mean, it, you know, Marvel's hoping so they want to sell some, but you know, it's, it's, it's the victim of a bunch of different things coming together. It's the, you know, too many events have worn people out and there have, we have hit the breaking point. In addition to that, we've got, uh, you know, a bunch of teams and characters that they haven't invested in or have randomly transformed so much. Nobody cares anymore to the point that it really doesn't feel like you're watching anything with any stakes because, you know, I, the, we don't recognize any of these things. We're just moving around the chessboard and, you know, over a conflict of, well, now there's a, celestial who's going to judge everybody and you know you know that the planet's not going to get destroyed at the end of this so you know I, I, it'll be fine i'm sure it'll be fine and i think also a victim in all this is the kind of the cutesy writing the solicits for this event are treating it like it's a joke so they uh what they have uh, uh, an issue of the avengers coming up it judges, it proved that Hawkeye has more worth than like a, was it like a chair or something or a towel rack? It's like, they, 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 they're like, that's going to be a pretty high bar. Like it, the jokiness of the event itself makes you not want to read it. The difference between several of those things you mentioned earlier, secret invasion, uh, civil war, some of those house of him, it, you know, it was written with, they, they were serious when they were writing it. It's like, Hey, bad stuff's going down. And uh, it, it's the, the heroes have to band together because there's there this this is serious this time. They at least attempt to appear excited and into it. In this one, you know, you're reading some of the solicits and it's like the Avengers. Can they make life better without making it work? Probably not, because you know how they are, the silly Avengers. That's that's how they're writing literally the solicits. So, you know, why why does anybody care? It's going to be fine. Uh, anyway, that's that's where we are. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I wish, uh, no, does this event really matter? Probably not. You know, for Marvel's sake, hopefully financially it matters, but, uh, you know, it doesn't, doesn't seem great. And the trades of these things are going to absolutely bomb. But... I'm sure it will set up a bold new status quo at the end of it. Some amazing new, like something that will lead to some more comics. Like maybe the X-Men will need to have another comic called like X Patriots. I I don't know where it's, it's a group of, of X-Men who are going to try and uh, work with the Eternals. Like, are are we going to get a a hero swap? Like an X-Men is going to go on the Avengers and Eternal is going to go start to live on Krakoa. And, uh, I, I mean that, that we're going to get some of that as well. Some of this mix around like, you know, Hey, there's somebody everywhere. Sure. Why not? Anyway, are you interested in this event? Maybe you are. And I've been too hard on it. Apologies. If so, thanks for listening.